It's right here. Manatee's right there? It's come up three times. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's you're... For you. Yeah, I see him. Oh my gosh, you guys, can you see him? <gasps> there he is. Yay. <laughs> Aww. Like a big submarine. Parking. Molly, are you ready? Molly, Molly. you ready? <laughs> She's the chillest. The crazy part is we have not been in our boat for months because it has been so hot. So it's gonna feel so good. Along the way to the scallop fishing grounds, we were greeted by dolphins who were attracted to our boat's wake. It was an interesting game trying to guess where they would pop up next. Alright, back to the serious business of finding those scallops. We just stopped to see if these uh, boaters knew where we could find scallops and he's like, go straight out, out the intercoastal and then take a left. We're like, great directions. <laughs> uh, that's where we're headed, straight, straight down, take a left. To prepare for our scallop adventure, we bought the basic equipment needed for scalloping. A license from the State Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, a diver's flag, net, and snorkel gear. Pretty simple. You guys know where to find the scallop grounds? No man, sorry. Uh, you us to go out this way and take a left. <laughs> <laughs> Those are their directions. Yeah, we've been, we've been going out this way. Don't know how to take a lap. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. All right, thank you. Sustainable fishing is one of the most important things we can do to conserve the oceans. Turns out, the hardest thing to find are the actual scalloping grounds. Given this was the last day of Florida's scalloping season, we were surprised more people weren't out scalloping. 
All right, so we're back into Crystal River because I think the combination of directions, like, okay, we needed to be in four to six feet of water, but then the people said go straight out into the ocean, like the intercoastal, and then take a left, and when you see a clearing in the trees, there will be a bunch of boats. And I think all of that information together doesn't really make sense. Like you're in the middle of the ocean, the really shallow and tree clearing. So we went all, way out, took a left, ended up back on like some shore in these keys and asked another boat. And they're like, oh no, you have to go like way out in the middle of the ocean. So. So here we are, because um, we're kind of heading back into Crystal River back home. But regardless, no scallops. Uh, it's been a beautiful, like gorgeous day. As you can see, gorgeous day on the water, the river, and the ocean. So just um, newbie mistakes, I'm sure. <laughs> Disappointed with not finding the scalloping grounds, we decided to explore Crystal River. Crystal River is the manatee capital of the world and is the only place in the United States where swimming with manatees is permitted. It is in a natural freshwater spring area with constant temperatures of 72 degrees all year round. Because of this, these springs are the perfect winter home for manatee to escape the cold. Manatee are always on the search for food. Don't worry, they don't attack humans. They prefer lush eel grass. They graze for eight to 10 hours a day, consuming about 10% of their body weight daily. Weighing in at about 1,500 pounds, the average manatee consumes around 150 pounds of grass a day. That's what we call a healthy appetite. After a good amount of time swimming with the manatee, it was time to head home and start the countdown to next year's scallop season. You can count on us to share our next scalloping adventure. Hopefully one that includes actually finding scallops. If you have any scalloping tips, please drop them in the comments. We could obviously use them. And be sure to subscribe so you're notified and can come along on all of our next adventures. Well, we are at the end of an unusually perfect day. <laughs> the day that we set out to scallop, hunt, fish, whatever you call it, and saw zero scallops. And yet it was arguably a perfect day. We got to see a bunch of dolphins. They got to swim with a manatee here at Three Sisters Springs, which is a natural spring, gorgeous. Just, uh, we went out into the ocean farther than we ever have. So despite zero scallops, it was still a perfect adventure day local here. What was your favorite part? Tell me. Well, my favorite part was touching the manatee. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kayla? Mine was getting to see the dolphin. Uh, a few of them were like circling around our bow and following us and one of them came up right next to me and splashed me in the face. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was so much fun. What made it fun? Seeing the manatee. The manatee came up boogie his head out.